KJ fans, and you're back with Christian and Jamil, my cameraman. We're back, you guys, for another episode of Cooking with K and J. You guys, I am so, so, so excited today. As you can tell, I have a lot of energy um, because today I am doing something epic, and I'm actually really proud of myself. I don't know why I am, but I just feel like because I found this recipe, I think it's going to be really good. Today, we're going to be making a vegan pasta salad. So two reasons why I'm excited about it. One, this looked super, super good. I got this recipe on TikTok, looked absolutely delicious. And then number two, you know how much Jamil hates vegetarian slash vegan products. So I was extra excited to make this today because I think that we can turn his mind around. I actually think this can be really, really good. Let's hope because the ingredients look delicious. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. Babe, what are your thoughts really quick on this vegan pasta salad? Well, first, can I say, I don't hate <laughs> vegan and vegetarian stuff. I, I just don't prefer it. Yes. <laughs> no, but it's all good. Yeah. Uh, my thoughts on this, honestly, doesn't sound that good. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He talks about how he doesn't mind it. How he totally is totally open to veganism and vegetarian lifestyle. But look, he doesn't, he never wants it. That's the thing. So I'm hoping that this recipe today is going to change his world and mine, okay? Because I never make vegan dishes. So I'm actually really excited. So let's show the ingredients we have today. So just really quick, we're going to be making a pasta salad and then we're also going to be making the dressing for the pasta salad which I think is going to be the key ingredient on making sure that this is delicious and flavorful. So let me show you the ingredients we have here. This might look daunting, okay? We have a beautiful basket um, of things and then over here are things that I couldn't fit in the basket. I want to shout out my cousin, by the way. She actually gave us this basket, guys. Yes! When we visited California, she gave this to us. So shout out to my cousin. Thank you so much for the basket. Maya, thank you so much for this basket. I do think it's beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Look, we look like experts. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you what is part of the um, pasta salad, and then I'm going to show you what's part of the dressing, okay? So with this pasta salad, we're going to be using rotini uh, pasta? Rotini pasta? Sounds okay. right. Okay, cool. So rotini pasta. And then basically we're going to be chopping up some fresh veggies. We have celery here. And I'm just gonna take this out. Our counter's clean, we cleaned everything. We're gonna chop up some fresh cucumber. We're gonna chop up some bell pepper, okay, for this recipe. And then we're going to also be using um, some red onion and garbanzo beans. And last but not least, oh, two more things. Um, some sliced olives we're gonna be putting in this pasta salad. And then some fresh dill, okay? It's important that it's fresh. Um, you know the difference between the dried and the fresh. Fresh, in my opinion, has a ton of like bold, potent flavors, so you want fresh dill, okay? So that is basically the pasta salad. I just wanna show that here. It's easy, right? I mean, it's not that hard. I'm boiling some water right now for this pasta, and then we're gonna chop up the veggies, put this all together, easy peasy. But let me show you the dressing, okay? So it's going to be basically a, a plant-based yogurt um, and like oil dressing, and I think it's gonna be good. So I got this Icelandic um, provisions, thick and creamy. I wanted to make sure that I got a super thick and creamy one. In this recipe on TikTok, it wanted, oh, what was that? Seagies? Yeah, it wanted to, us to use Seagies just because this lady uh, prefers it because it's also thick and creamy. But on the Seagies uh, brand, I couldn't find just a plain yogurt. They had like cinnamon and some other weird flavor and vanilla. So anyways, I found this and it said thick and creamy. So I'm super excited about this. So uh, we're gonna be using this as like the base, okay? So I got two of these, okay? And then you need olive oil, you need some pepper, some salt. You're gonna use a fresh lemon for some juice. Uh, you're gonna want some Dijon mustard. It's part of this delicious dressing. Uh, fresh garlic, okay. A couple more things. Um, some parsley, you can use dried parsley for this. And you can use some onion powder. And last but not least, some dill weed. No, I don't know. I forget. I forget if you need the fresh dill or the dill weed 
for this situation. So I'm going to look at the recipe before we do this and just make sure that I'm right. But anyways, I might've got the dill weed because I think initially I couldn't find the dill. Something happened, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so clearly I don't know what I'm doing, but that's fine. Okay, so these are all the ingredients. Super excited. We, I, like I said, I'm boiling the water for this. Let's start chopping up some veggies. Again, we only have a few to chop up. It's really not that hard. And then we're basically gonna assemble. I also wanna say, although I haven't made this recipe before, you can totally add things, add vegetables if you want. You can take things away if you want. I, from what I can tell from this recipe, this isn't like exact science here, right? You wanna do things to your flavors. Luckily, I love onions, I love dill, I love all the things that this lady used, so I'm gonna keep it. But if you're allergic to anything or you just don't like it or you wanna switch up maybe the type of beans for a different bean, go ahead and do it. I say go for it, okay? Or, or you can add meat, right? <laughs> okay. I know Jamil so wishes that we're adding. steak, chicken. Chicken. <laughs> anything. You know, if you did- Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> if you did want to make this a non-vegan, um, you can totally do um, some chicken in here, but we're not, okay? So we're really excited. Um, so let's go ahead and start chopping up, okay? Okay guys, so the pasta is all boiled and ready. And as you can see, I chopped up the veggies. So this is what we have here. And now we're going to start assembling the pasta salad and then we're gonna get to the dressing last, okay? So I just wanna point out, you know, Jamil's not a huge fan of tomatoes, so we didn't use too, too many. We both love onions, so I wanted to use a good amount of onion. We love bell peppers, our cucumbers, well, that freshness. You got some dill, you got some celery. And again, like I said, I will put the portions, if you do want exact measurements, into the description box so you know uh, the exact recipe, okay? So let's start assembling this pasta salad. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this pasta into the bowl, like so. Woo, okay. So this is our pasta salad, look at that. Yes, nice and fresh. I love pasta. Pasta's amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna start assembling. Let's add our garbanzo beans. I'm gonna use the whole can. Let's add our sliced olives. I'm sure if you guys want, you can use green olives if you don't like black. Maybe some kalamata if you want that. We're going to start adding our veggies into this, okay? So I'm just kind of turning the bowl so it's easier for me. Add our cucumbers. Now the bell pepper. Our onion. I do have to say that's the nice thing about vegetarian and vegan options. Mm -hmm. Is everything is really colorful. It really is. It looks vibrant. You know? It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Add our celery. And then we're gonna put our dill here. And then the tomatoes, where do I wanna put them? I'll put them here. And we're gonna mix this all up at the end, it really doesn't matter, but on TikTok, the lady assembled it all like this, and I thought it was like super duper pretty, and then at the end she mixes it all together. So, this is just your base of your pasta salad, this is everything without the dressing. <clears throat> like I said, I really think this recipe, this dressing's gonna make or break it, and I think it's gonna be really good. So let's go ahead and uh, go on to the dressing, and then we're gonna add it to our pasta salad. And then that's what we got. So let's see. Oh 
Real quick, before we start assembling all these ingredients, I do want to say that I am going to be using exact measurements of this lady on TikTok for this dressing because I do think when it comes to dressing and portions, it does have to be way more exact than the vegetables that I used in the pasta salad. So they will be exact. And again, the dressing recipe will be in the comment section or in the description section. So make sure you follow it to a T. Okay fam, so this is it. We have our assemblance of the pasta salad right here. We have our dressing that we just mixed together that looks really, really good. So now we're gonna pour this into this and give it a really good mix. And then there you have it, vegan pasta salad. So let's do this. Okay fam, so we just poured the dressing all on top of this pasta salad. Look how good that looks, you guys. So we're gonna give this a really, really good mix, okay? We're basically, the whole goal here is to incorporate all of the delicious, yummy, fresh, vegan ingredients into this one delicious dish. So would you say this is like a summertime dish? Oh, I think this is totally a like summertime pasta salad, you know, backyard yeah. kind of situation. Look at this. You know, it looks really good. Doesn't it? Yeah, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> good, I love the colors. I love how vibrant it is. And this makes a lot. This is definitely enough to bring to a potluck, to a party. Uh, but you know what? It's all about the taste and I'm super excited to see how this tastes. By the way, just a quick heads up, in case anyone's wondering because they can't see me on camera, I am wearing a Warriors <laughs> jersey. <laughs> Jamil has the Warriors jersey on, you guys. I think uh, throughout this whole playoff situation, he's gonna be wearing it like every day. So. It's gonna be glued to me. <laughs> okay, how's that, babe? Does that look good? Looks great. All incorporated? I love it. I love okay, it. Okay, you guys, so this is the mixed pasta salad. And you know what we need to do next, right fam? Taste test? So we have to taste test this. I love it. Okay, babe, I kind of want you to have the first bite. Okay, cool. Okay, let's switch and you go for it. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, babe, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. I got my Warriors jersey on. I'm ready to try this salad. See how good it is. It smells great. I love the color. It looks phenomenal. Um, I gotta say it looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. But to be honest, it looks, it looks amazing. So I'm ready to try it out. Okay, here is a fork for you. All right, let me go and put this in here. Okay. And hold it up high so you guys can see both at the same time. That'd be great. So of course. Okay. I'm gonna throw bowl to myself. <laughs> Honest review, guys. Don't double dip. This is just a... One time thing. <laughs> Honest review. Okay. Swear. That's really good. Swear. I swear. Yeah. That's really good. I want to go back for more, but I shouldn't double dip. Well, this is just for us, so yeah. go double dip. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> go okay, double one dip. More <laughs> one more time, fam, it's okay. One more bite. We're not sharing with anyone else. <laughs> one more bite. Mm. Oh yeah, it's perfect. The dill comes out. Mm. The dill tastes phenomenal in that. And that bite, I just had some olives, the olives and the dill. 
It goes so well together. Oh, the pasta tastes incredible. The only thing I would say, the only thing I would say, which isn't even a problem, I personally like a little more dressing. Um, I think a little more dressing would have made it even more over the top because that dressing tastes so good. Sorry about that, guys. Could not spit into I know, the right? ice. <laughs> Let me watch out. But ultimately, overall, I love this. It's really good. I'm so happy. <laughs> like I said, I think this would be really good with like a summertime theme, like burgers or if you want to have hot dogs or something like that. But honestly, it's really good. Okay. I love it. I want to try it. Your turn. Okay, you ready to try it out yourself? I'm so ready and I'm so excited. Okay. Do you want me to hold it up like you did? Yeah, hold it up. Why not? If I can. Yeah, if you can. You know what? I can help you out. You want me to hold it while you take a bite? No. Okay. I feel good? like I'm just like going for it in Go life. Go for it. Why not? It's ours. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Vegan pasta salad. Cool. Right? It's great. It tastes really good. It's really good. It's really good. Um, summertime fresh. All these ingredients are absolutely delicious. If I were to do this again, I think I put a little more garlic into the dressing. So that's gonna be a pro tip for you guys if you like a little more garlicky flavor. Probably wouldn't have hurt to put a little more mustard in there as well, other than that, and maybe a pinch more salt. So I'm just like kind of thinking about how I could have made that dressing just a pinch, pinch better, but it's really, really good. And you, and you taste like you get the crunch of each bite in here and it's just so fresh, so good. And I'm pretty sure that if I serve this at a party, and I didn't say it was vegan, people wouldn't even question it. True. It's good. Really good it just needs to be refrigerated, and mm -hmm. I think it's good to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and tomorrow for the next video, we're gonna eat this along with something else and do a fun video, because we definitely wanna make sure that we eat this, and I think that this is gonna be, you know, we'll have leftovers as well, even after we have this for a mukbang. So, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this. Again, the TikTok recipe is going to be in the description box and in the comment section. Um, so feel free to go ahead and look for that and, uh, and let us know if you make this. If you do end up making this recipe, send us a picture of it. And we'll be happy to post it onto our community post. Um, and then also, we'll, you know, if you, put, uh, if you send it to us on Facebook, we'll post it on Facebook as well. Okay, you guys? How did I do, babe? Great. I love it. Honestly. I'm really happy. I'm really happy you made this. It was Yay. a good recipe. Thank you. Yeah. I'm super excited. Okay, fam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share, and let your friends know what the Kate and J fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Bye.